Hello and welcome to the introduction and basic user guide in using the WatchGas QGM from our partners at WatchGas. So to begin with, you can turn the instrument on, press and hold the button, 3, 2, 1, and the unit will power on and go through a standard startup process. So as we can see, we've got a full gas monitor here with LEL, O2, CO and H2S. We have instantaneous warning and danger alarms as well as STEL and TWA alarms. There's a full event history available within the unit to data download via the integrated infrared port on the top. We also have full charging capabilities. There are two versions of the QGM. There are the catalytic bead version and there is also the infrared version. So the catalytic bead has a standard operating time of around 12 to 20 hours depending on operation and the amount of alarms and the infrared version can run up to two months continuously from one single charge of around three to four hours. So now we can demonstrate an alarm by adding some gas to the end of the unit using the integrated calibration adapter. So by applying some gas on the end of the unit, you should see relatively quickly the unit in a high alarm state and it gives us instantaneous readings of the gas level on the screen. And then if I reduce and remove that and allow that to clear out, this will go back to ambient levels. So general operation of the unit is to scroll through some of the measurement criteria. You can press and look at our high lim limits, our TWA values, our STEL values. We can clear any of our high, low and STEL and TWAs. We can adapt our alarm values. We'll take a look at our alarm values by pressing and holding. So we can see our low alarm value, our high alarm values, our TWA and our STEL values. We can look at the type and version. And then this is the calibration factors and thresholds for this particular device. Now to enter calibration mode, when you get to this section, press and hold, and you will now enter into the user calibration function. So firstly, it'll ask you to do calibrated zero. So press and hold. And now we're performing a zero function, which takes around 10 seconds to zero the four sensors. Once the zero is complete, you'll be given the option to do a full span calibration. Um, so if we just skip over to Cal Span, uh, we can apply the calibration cap and should we wish to do a user calibration, we can press and hold the button and open up our can of gas. And now it will take 90 seconds to perform a full span calibration on the sensors on this unit. As we can see, the calibration has completed successfully and all sensors are okay. And now we can remove the span calibration and we are back in normal operation. So to remove the clip, we can clip around the bottom and we can see all charging is done by the lower port here and infrared communications by the top port. It will take a few seconds for the instrument to stabilize and come back down to ambient conditions. As we can see, we're back in normal operation and to turn the instrument off, we press and hold Power off in three, two, one. And that gives you an overview of the standard WatchGas QGM instrument operation. Should you require any technical information or further technical support,